Welcome to Conesty Nature Preserve. So Conesty Nature Preserve is very much akin to a state park for our patrons. Um, we have 600 and plus acres. We have uh, 15 miles of trails. We have lots of different trail amenities and education program. The difference between us and a state park, one is the fact that we are owned and operated by a nonprofit organization. And there's several reason for the, reasons for that that I can explain, but we're nonprofit owned and operated uh, and our location is different from a state park in that we are in the city limits of Greenville. So Lake Conesty was created uh, when the Conesty Dam was constructed in the late 1800s. Uh, Conesty Dam was constructed to power Conesty Textile Mill, uh, which is right down the road here. And um, because Conesty Dam and Lake Conesty was south of uh, urban developed Greenville, and this is a time period before there were environmental laws, uh, every industry in Greenville would dump their pollution, their raw sewage, uh, whatever byproduct they had from manufacturing, they'd dump it into the Reedy River and it would flow downstream and then it would hit Lake Conesty where the water slows down and spreads out because of the Conesty Dam. And a lot of that contamination like f dropped out into our sediment. So there's um, highly contaminated sediment in the old lake bed, but over time it's been grad, that old lake, what used to be an open water lake is now small streams. We own the Conesty Dam, so the dam is on our property. Um, we, as a nonprofit, um, you know, when you're talking about a project that may cost 30 or $40 million, like we haven't had that much money, like if you count all the years of our existence, right? That's like beyond our, the scale of what we can take on. So. We have been seeking public funds and uh, especially with all the federal infrastructure money that's come down in recent years, uh, we're at a place where we have the opportunity to secure um, funds from the government to help us accomplish um, replacement of the dam. Then the old dam would still be there, but it wouldn't be serving any purpose. And sediment and water, of course, would fill in behind the new dam and, and the old dam would it would be covered up, unfortunately, which is a loss given its historical value and its aesthetic value. However, pollution from the past is not the only issue Conesty faces. One of the big problems we have in the Reedy is with, um, with flash flooding. Uh, because there are no wetland uh, and floodplains still intact in Greenville for the most part, when we get a rain event, we get this giant spike in the Reedy River's flow. So the, the Reedy goes way up. Um, damages property, damages habitat, and then immediately drops back down. There's just, just gigantic immediate flush. Um, the fact that Conesty Dam and Conesty Nature Preserve are here acts as a check on that, right? So this is like a, a speed bump um, that keeps that massive flow, which is full of, um, you know, stormwater runoff and, um, you know, the oil from parking lots and animal waste and all these things. It slows that down and creates that, it prevents that, that deluge from continuing further downstream. So um, you know, I think without the dam and without Conesty Nature Preserve here, we would see some of the channelization, um, you know, the fact that the Reedy River through downtown is not completely devoid of life, but it certainly is not thriving. You would see some of those conditions extending further downstream. We have a story that really is um, one of, of rebirth um, so back in the 90s, there was a, a giant uh, diesel gasoline spill into the Reedy River um, called the Colonial Pipeline Spill. And out of that spill, uh, there were funds that were set aside in a legal settlement for um, acquisition of uh, green space in the Reedy River watershed. And some of that money went to the first purchase of, of Conesty. I think people should care about Conesty Nature Preserve because this is a place where young people learn to value nature. Um, I am in this role, I, mean, I have an engineering degree and a law degree. I could be doing other things. I'm in this role because I had experiences growing up that led me to value nature. And when people value nature, they make dis good decisions in relation to nature, right? In other words, like don't destroy it. Um, and we really try to use this place as uh, a setting where not only do we offer an engaging experience when you're within our boundaries, but we try to bring 
especially young people here and shift their perspective to make them realize how important uh, it is to leave a space for um, plants and animals to exist, right? And we are sending those people, those young people, back into the world to hopefully make good decisions in regard to nature for the rest of their lives. And um, I think that's without places like this to, to learn, for people to learn to value nature, we're going to have a society full of people that don't do anything to protect it. You too can visit Conesty Nature Preserve at 840 Malden Road, Greenville, South Carolina. We hope to see you soon.